want to talk about in tiga of the form f of x multiplied by f prime of x dx which will give us f of x all squared all over 2 plus the constant c so let's see the first example if you are to do this the first example now which is so the solution we have integral lean cos 3x tan 3x dx now the first thing you are going to do here is to represent your lean cos x with you so you say let u be equal to lean cos 3x that means if my u is lean cos 3x my equation will become integral u tan 3x dx now the first thing you want to do now is to make sure that you represent you change dx how are you going to change dx to become something with you you differentiate this if you differentiate this you have the u dx which will give us if you differentiate cos you get minus theory you get minus theory sine theory x all over cos theory x so if you integrate if you integrate lean cos 3x what you are going to have is cos 3x i mean minus 3 sine 3x over cos 3x that is 1 over u multiply by the derivative of u that is what i did all right so now you want to make dx the subject of formula if you i mean you want to make du the subject of formula and you automatically know that minus 3 sine 3x over cos 3x is the same thing as minus 3 tan 3x because in mathematics sine over cos will give us tan i see that now so that means i have i have my du dx i have my du dx which is now equal to what minus 3 tan 3 x i get getting that now so now if you cross multiply you are going to have du equal to what minus you are going to have du equal to what minus 3 tan 3 x dx and if you make dx this way of formula you are going to have dx equal to du over minus 3 tan 3 x i guess you that now so this is what you are going to have here now doing this replace this into this equation so you are going to have you know you have integral u tan 3 x dx which will now become integral u tan 3 x now what's your dx your dx is what du over minus 3 tan 3 x i see that now so after that now this will cancel this so what you are left with now is integral u du over minus 3 and that give us integral minus u over 3 du which will also give us minus 1 over 3 integral u du i see that now after that integrate your du that will be minus 1 over 3 if you integrate u you are going to have u square over 2 which now give us minus u square over what 6 i see that now then what is your u your u is what this one that you have used here your u is what lean cos 3x so if that will be minus lean cos 3x all over what 6 or squared 
so that is how you are going to do this do we understand so let's go to example two now so to the second example we have 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 multiplied by 4x plus 8 since we are doing integral of the form you know automatically automatically you know that your f of x is this i get i'm saying you know that this is your f of x i know that this is your f prime of x i get what i'm doing now so just like i did that time the first thing i'm going to say is let u be equal to what everything here which is what 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 that means your your equation now becomes your equation becomes integral u open bracket 4x plus 8 dx so the same thing i did that time make dx the sort of formula from this place you know here you have your du over dx you have your du over dx here to be what if you integrate this you have 4x plus 8 and if you make dx this um dx is the formula just so that in this case when you want to make this the of formula it will become the this we divide this that's just it directly so that means you are going to have your dx here to be what du over 4x plus 8 are you getting that now so after that put this into this so that will be integral u open bracket 4x plus 8 what's your dx your dx is what du over 4x plus 8 you can see so this we cancel this then i'll be left with what integral u du i see that now and if you integrate integral u du you, you are going to have u squared over 2 plus what c so that means my final answer here will now be what was your u your u is what 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 all squared all over what 2 plus c i see that now so this is the second example now to the third example now to the third so to the second example here now we have sine 2x cos 2x dx so just like you have been doing before let your u be what sine 2x if your u is sine 2x your integral was u 2x dx are you seeing that now so being u cos 2x dx how are you going to replace your dx You might be wondering how am i getting this in a very short method what i use is called the shortcut of chain rule so how you how that is if you have sign 2x now what you are going to do is differentiate 2x if you differentiate 2x you have 2 if you differentiate sign you have what cause then write your 2x back you see that now so that is how we get to cos 2x here the link is in the description of this video so you can watch it then after that your du dx now is 2 cos 2x now make dx the sort of formula i told you earlier to make dx sort of formula in this place it will just be your du divided by what you have here so if you ask something like a over b equal to c and you want to make c this sub i mean you want to make b the subject of formula your answer will just be what your a over your what your c do you get that now so that's what we are doing so your dx now is now what 
du over 2 cos x. So, knowing that your dx is du over 2 cos x, what's the next thing? Come back to your equation. Your equation is what? I mean, your integral is what? u cos 2x dx. So, let's change your dx to everything you have here. If you do that, you are going to have u cos 2x multiplied by du over what? 2 cos 2x. So, here, cos 2x we cancel cos 2x. And after that, you are going to have u over 2 and du. So, bringing out the constant, which is 1 over 2, you are going to be left with what? u du. Why do I do that? Because you cannot integrate something like this. So, you have to bring this out. After doing that, if you integrate u, you are going to have u squared over 2. 1 multiplied by u squared will give you u squared. 2 multiplied by 2 will give you 4. And don't forget that your u is what? Sine 2x. So, if you represent your u back with sine 2x, you are going to have sine 2x all squared over 4. I guess what I'm saying sine 2x all squared over 4 plus c. And um, if you solve for that, you are going to have sine squared 2x over 4. Because in mathematics, sine theta, in mathematics, if you have sine theta all squared, it is the same thing as sine squared theta. All right. So that is why we have something like this all right so this is where we are going to stop for today don't forget to subscribe like and always share this video mm -hmm.